Hello everybody, it's Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World. Today we're going to be back on the Blackpool uh, route add-on, uh, which is going to see us drive a class 142 pacer again, obviously. Uh, in the last episode I did uh, criticise the sounds of the pacer, uh, and uh, it was saying that it didn't sound like the, uh, the Cummins engine with the voice gearbox. That's because I, uh, numbnuts here, picked the uh, the wrong one. I think it was 1989 to 1996 I picked. I just scrolled to the bottom, assuming they'd be in chronological order, but they're not. So uh, if you want to drive a pacer, you've got three different versions. The 1985 to 1991, uh, 1989 to 1996, 1993 plus. So we're going to actually drive the Cummins version today. Uh, hang on, that one's empty. Have we got one with people in, maybe? Nah, we'll just go for empty. We'll go for the skipper, because I love the skipper uh, livery, and we are going to be driving it. So it's a what? Did I already pick that? It's Blackpool South at 9 something or other. Blackpool South to Ormskirk, uh, which takes an hour and six minutes. We're not going to be driving the full route, uh, because we simply don't have time in a one hour video. We'll do it in two halves. Uh, we will drive from Preston to Ormskirk in a separate video. But yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to be having a look today at the Blackpool South route and uh, and just see what it has to offer. Here we go. So we're driving passenger service from Blackpool South to Ormskirk. Uh, if you do like this, I mean, you can already hear now it sounds much better. Uh, right there we go. We'll uh, we'll pop that there. Get the AWS turned on. Yeah, lovely. Unlock the doors. There we go. Lovely. Rightio, so we'll, uh, I think we've already got the tail lights on, haven't we? It's quite difficult to see. Yeah, they're on now. So we're down at Blackpool South. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. We need to, uh, we need to wind this round. There we go, right. Special, Liverpool, Manvik, Leeds, Huddersfield, Blackpool North, Blackpool South, Ormskirk. There we go. Ormskirk on the front, people. Uh, it said it was empty, but we seem to have flipping heck. It's absolutely chocker. Full and standing. And this isn't even a peak time train. Right, let's uh, let's get in here. Uh, we're not going to be having a look at the doors on this today. Let's have a look. Do we have... Maybe it's because we've not started moving yet. But uh, yeah, we usually have the public address system on there. Absolutely gorgeous skipper livery. Really, really lovely. I uh, I am a fan of this. Real fan of this. We're going to uh, we're gonna take a screenshot before we set off. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll get many more screenshots today. So where are we going? 9.28 in the morning. Uh, so we're departing at 9.30. We're going to be calling at Squires Gate, St. Anne's on Sea, Ansdell and Fairhaven, Livam, Moss Side, Kirkham and Wesham, Preston at 10.06. So it's about a 30, 36 minute journey through. And then uh, it's roughly just less than half an hour through to Ormskirk. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with that. There we go. Right, get rid of you. Pop you down to step one. There we go. Now, I think you can actually set off with the doors open. I think this is of the era where you can do that. But we're not going to do that because we're, you know, we're, we're sensible people. Very, very sensible indeed. I wonder if I go for, uh, if I go into the options here and go for the photo mode. Can we, uh, can we get a really nice photo before we set off? See, the, uh, the, the glare's a little bit. If only it was like, um... And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna have a screenshot. Save and upload. Upload to where? I don't know. I don't know. Right, get rid of that. Hang on, hang on. Where's the how do you get rid of the menu? Hide overlay. We'll just press F12. Because I think last time some of my screenshots I couldn't find them. It was terrible. So it does sound a lot more like a piercer from the outside. Right, here we go. So we'll lock the left-hand doors. Still no hustle alarm. I really would like a hustle alarm. See, I think the sounds, yeah, the, the Cummins engine sounds definitely sound a lot better, don't they? They're still not quite... I mean, they're not AP, are they? They're not Armstrong Powerhouse. Well, they, they might be Armstrong Powerhouse sounds, but for some reason they're not... You know, like when you take power, they should they should delay a little bit more. But at least we're in the right variant today. And uh, and sounds aside, this route is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at all this foliage around here. Hang on, don't we stop at the Pleasure Beach on this? Maybe the Pleasure Beach isn't a uh, maybe it's not been built yet. Has it been built? I don't know. Maybe we'll go past it. Hell, the uh, the line speed down here, 70 miles an hour. That's uh, that's unexpected. I 
I think is this uh, the Pleasure Beach on the right hand side there, yeah, look at that. The, uh, oh, you can, the, the roller coasters actually work, although if they were going that fast, flipping it, you'd, uh, you really wouldn't have a good time of it. Is that Grand National just there? I'm not sure it looks like it, doesn't it? No, it's not Grand National, of course it's not. It's, um, it's the other one, isn't it? It was called Roller Coaster. I think it's now Nickelodeon Streak. I don't really know a lot. My, uh, my other half will probably be watching this. Pleasure Beach Station should be there, shouldn't it? I think. Yeah, it's probably a little bit early in this, uh, this era. Right, let's, uh, let's have a bit of breaking for Squires Gate. do love the bounce on this, you really do sort of get more of the bounce feel without having to have the bounce factor, it's lovely. Do we have a... Uh... The next stop is Gate. There we go, we've got our nice, uh, nice PA announcements there. Obviously, you can tell from the bridge and the platforms. In fact, there's another platform on the left-hand side. You can see uh, that this probably used to be two-track down here. And uh, and obviously isn't anymore. Right, let's... Uh, what's what's this here? Oh, hang on, we need to start. I thought that we were stopping further down. Right, let's get a bit more braking in. There we go. Right, that was... Uh, yeah, that wasn't very glamorous. I saw the lengthy platform and thought we were stopping right down there. Let's, uh, let's have a... Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Right, 9.33 and 30. No, oh, I remember using that. Have we got the, uh, the saloon lighting on? Yeah, that's on. Excellent. Oh, wow, look, people getting on. Oh, I like how they get on the train. That's lovely. That's really nice. Right, hang on. Lock right. Full steam ahead. Again, I, I still maintain it's perhaps a little bit quick off the mark, but it's still drivable. I've really enjoyed pootling up and down in this DLC, to be honest with you. Um, so, whilst, yeah, I, I think the sounds aren't particularly brilliant, I, uh, I really can recommend this. As I say, link in the description if you want to go check it out. I think with it being a little network as well, I know it's a little bit before my time, but with it being a little network, it gives you plenty of options, you know, if you don't really fancy going Blackpool North and back. That's what I liked about the, um, the East Coastway DLC. You could, you know, you could drive down to... Uh, where was it now? Eastbourne? Or you could go down to the other place that I can't remember wh what it's called. It's absolutely fantastic. I love it. Where are we going next? St. Anne's on Sea. Very posh down at St. Anne's. Oh, lovely. A lot of people retire to St. Anne's, don't they? Right, I'll tell you what, when that gets a little bit lower, we'll, uh, we'll stick a bit of step one braking in. A little bit closer, right, I reckon about now should be fine. About half a mile away, that'll do. Really, really decent brakes on the pacer, aren't they? A little bit more braking, because obviously we're... Uh, we're bombing into the station at 35 miles an hour. Again, another uh, another station that looks like it should have been two platforms. I don't know if these other platforms are visible now. 
it's honestly that long since I've come down here. Can you even, you know, can you see these platforms anymore? Have they just disintegrated? Have they been knocked down? Uh, do let me know in the comments section. I'm always interested to read your comments. Really, really long platforms. You can only imagine the, the sort of length of train that used to come down here and now they're just running little, little scratty two car paces. In the must be. Look at that. Oh, the derelict ticket office on the left, or whatever that building was. It was railway offices of some sort, wasn't it? Hang on. There we go. Really do like these shots here. They look awesome. We'll let him depart. Look at that, just all sort of boarded up. One plank slightly out there. The glass put through some of them, some of them not. Oh, it's just sad. Off he goes. Oh, have we left some people behind? Oh well. The conductor's happy. If we've left all those behind, there's not as many, uh, not as many tickets to check. Next one, Ansdillum Fairhaven. The uh, the lovely autumn foliage there. Is that because I put it with today's day? And it's obviously November. It's the 22nd of November today. Maybe that's why. The conductor must have been too busy checking tickets. He didn't have time to do an announcement for, uh, for St. Anne's. So about 0. Point, should we go with 0. 0.8 again? 0. 0.7? We'll go with about that and a bit of step one. That'll do. I like how it says West Code 3 step break. It actually tells you what it is. So that's a, a West Code break, obviously. I definitely think that this is much more enjoyable to drive than the uh, than the DLCs. Well, I say DLCs than the uh, the trains and routes that have come with the game. So, like for instance, the Peterborough to Doncaster. I definitely think this is much more enjoyable than that. Maybe it's because I'm from t North. Maybe because I'm from the North, it's uh, it's more up my street. But yeah, I definitely prefer this. Right, here we go. Make an announcement, conductor. The next station stop is Amsterdam Fairhaven. See, this looks like an island platform, doesn't it? So the railway would obviously be down this other side here. Oh, look, people running for the train. I like that. Little bit of lag there, right? Stop, stop, stop. Get them doors open. Oh, can we can we trip any of these? What's that? What's that on the end? Oh, he's, I thought he was coming to tell me off for a second. we go. Ooh, Lytham. Again, very, very nice in Lytham. 
Well, that's are we on the map now? Are we... Uh, right, so we've come all the way down here. Obviously, this is Blackpool North here. And you go up and over the top, that's Polton the Fylde. Then back down again, where this comes round the bottom here. So Lytham's about here, and then we'll carry on round to, uh, obviously, Kirkham and Wesham somewhere round there. There is a bridge down here that, uh, that we walked the dog over. It might be this one, even. Uh, we went to Lytham, we parked up and walked down the front with the dog, it was uh, it was very nice. We saw a Northern 156 going underneath, we're going back a few years ago now, but uh, I'm sure there's 156 is still pootling up and down here. It's either this one or this one, but I seem to remember really, really big trees either side and just a little single track. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll coast from here. Have a little bit of breaking for Lytham. Trying to keep it in the old step one. Ooh, we've got a 50 coming up here. I've perhaps been a little bit, a uh, little bit too premature with me breaking. Perhaps now I'm leaving it a little bit late. This is why I don't think I'd make a very good train driver, people. Although I guess this is the first time I've ever driven a train down this route, so, you know, I don't really know where. I guess if you did it every day, you'd learn your braking points, wouldn't you? So, I don't know, maybe I'd be a brilliant train driver. Who knows? That's what they say, the proof of the pudding and all that. Oh, hang on. The next stop is Liver. Rightio, Lytham. Let's have a quick look round Lytham Station. Still plenty of... I mean, flipping out, you couldn't get away with all that nowadays. Could you? Any passenger could fall in there. What have we got behind here? Just anything. Sandcastle Cement. A couple of... Oh, some golf clubs. As you do. Flipping out, there's a lot of people. Information sign that we could... Uh, oh, no, look, they're all going for the train. How can I lock the doors now? They're all going to miss it. Tell you what, we'll wait for you. Keep boarding, keep boarding, keep boarding. Oh no, I'm sorry dear, you've missed it now. We waited as long as we could really, didn't we? And away we go. Next up, Moss Side. Is Moss Side still open? See, some of these stations, are they are they actually still open? Yeah, it does say, yeah, National Rail Inquiries, Moss Side, Preston and Blackpool South. I don't think they go all the way through to Ormskirk anymore. about the 142 even though it's uh, even though I said this is quite a quick 142 it's still very slow so you can uh, you don't have to worry about that little 50 mile an hour corner you can just still bang it in full power it just gets there in time for the 70 look at that We really do feel like we're going fast now, don't we? We're only doing 62 miles an hour, but just going hurtling round that corner in the 142. This feels even quicker than uh, southeastern high speed. Another corner here around. Are we going northbound now after this corner? So there's 35 coming up, but is that after Moss Side? I reckon it probably is. I think this is probably where we join onto the. Oh, hang on, we're, we're speeding. 
we will be in a minute. There we go, we'll have a bit of braking. I think that 35 is probably where we go onto the main line, isn't it? If I had to hazard a guess. Slowing down now, slowing down. Might need a bit more braking. Do you think we'll get away with it? No, do you know what? We'll leave it in step one and just see if we can... Yeah, maybe a bit quick. Maybe we'll need a bit of step two. More golf clubs. Do you reckon we have to do something with those golf clubs? Do you reckon it's like lost property or something? There we go. Right, unlock left. I'm intrigued. Right, let's go and have a look at what's happening. Come on, open up, conductor. Do you reckon it's lost property? Do a lot of people play golf down this line? Oh, gingerbread. Oh, gingerbread eaten. Golf bag collected. Maybe a lot of people play... Uh... Is it just me that finds that a little bit strange that you'd just find a gingerbread man on the platform and, and just eat it as a guard? Maybe it used to be like that back in the day. Maybe people have... Uh... Maybe I've lost trust. But back in the old days, you find a piece of gingerbread on the floor, you can just pick it up and eat it. Why not? So are we? Oh no, we're actually quite a way off the main line. It's just for this little section that it's 35. I thought that like Moss Side Station would be sort of here and that would be 35 corner. How mistaken was I? Why are we stopping after Moss Side? Kirkham and Wesham. Right, okay, so we're right away onto the main line now. Let's have a lot right. Lot left. Side way, look at that. Kiwa cars waiting for us. Awesome. Ah, right, but it's that 55 onto the main line, isn't it? See if we can get to 70 again. All right, enjoy whizzing around there at. Uh, 70. I felt like a fighter jet pilot. Let's just double check because I stood up, is me. DSD pedal. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have unclicked that. Now we're uh, now we're stopping, aren't we? Right, okay. Came to a screeching halt. Let's uh, let's try again. Not getting to 70 now, are we? <laughs> Why can't you unclick the pedal and put it back down again? I'm sure that DSD does that. Just have a few more. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Really, really nice looking train. Yeah, this this does actually, you know what, I've been thinking about it. I said it was one of my favourite. This is one, this, I think this is going to win the prize as Joe's favourite Trains in World DLC. Yep, you know what, it's it's going there. This is my favourite Trains in World DLC. And that includes all of them, Trains in World 1, 2, 3 and 4. My favourite DLC of all time is this one. Absolutely love it. It's a shame that they won't like update the North Pennine, you know, the Northern Trans Pennine to have these 142s on it so that you can put up and down. But I guess that was BR Blue, wasn't it really? It wasn't regional railways, so maybe that's why. That's a shame. It really is so pretty. I 
I'm a massive fan of like the morning haze as well. It's just it's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's so pretty. It's the, the eye candy is lovely here. You know, it really is a treat to uh, to drive it. I reckon are we stopping at Solwick? No, we're not. Not stopping at Solwick. Right, yeah. So we need to be uh, need to be a little bit wary. There is a 30 mile an hour coming up. That's probably Kirkham and Wesham. Right, I think we'll go to this signal. Go in like the clappers, and then we'll uh, we'll have a bit of break in there. That'll do. Hopefully we'll get down to the 30 before the 30. As well, the uh, the EN57 has come out for uh, for Sim Rail. Really, really nice drivers. That I uh, was having a drive of that earlier. We're not going to be at the 30 for the 30. Oh no! This is a disaster. Oh no! Points, points lost there, Joe. Flipping heck! Right there we go. Try again. Bit of bit of step one. There we go. It's like nothing ever happened. Obviously, this has all changed from now, hasn't it? Because let's not forget that there's uh, there's overhead wires now. Three, three, ones whizzing up and down. It's uh, yeah. Another one for two there. In uh, provincial, BR provincial, lovely, 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 lovely. just the continual flange sounds which are just I can't get over them it's absolutely awesome we've got a red at the end of this platform goodness me wonder if something's gonna come hurtling past us that'd be good wouldn't it if they'd uh, if they'd actually timetabled that to happen well for me doing 50 mile an hour around that 30 that's made up for the uh, for dropping the oh hang on shortly be arriving at Kirkham and Wesham Kirkham and Wesham uh, yeah, that's more than made up for the fact that earlier we uh, we we dropped the DSD. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? The the artwork on that is stunning. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another photo. It's just so pretty. No, I don't really like platform side photos. Help. There's a dog barking at me. Have we got any uh, any more gingerbreads to eat? Got a right appetite after that first one. Almost as if it was laced with something. It's giving me the munchies, goodness me. What have we got in here? Oh, there's a gingerbread man. Oh, he's waving. Do we have time? I don't think we do. Nah, it says wait until 9.55. We don't have a signal, though. We're going to get the signal, I don't... Ah, there we go. I don't like how it tells you to shut your doors before the signal. I mean, as a conductor myself. Slash train guard, slash uh, ticket monkey, slash... You know, there's. I've been called a lot of things in my time. But uh, yeah, as a conductor, I don't like seeing that red signal at the end to, uh, to shut the doors. No, 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 no. Not good at all. I've always thought this is a bit of an odd one because if you go through on the slow lines you have to go quite slow to come across from Blackpool onto these slow lines whereas if you go on the fast lines you can hurtle through that junction but then at this next junction the slow lines, uh, the fast lines have to slow down to come into the slow lines it's a very very sort of odd layout if you look we're now on the main line sort of speaking that line on the left is sort of pulling into us and then laddering its way across it's a very very odd setup. Oh, hang on, we're speeding. Too busy trying to educate the people about the uh, the track layout of Kirkham and Wesham. I do like the dynamic weather as well, the fact that it was really, really sunny, and now we've sort of just gone into this haze. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. The haze across the fields. 
Oh, it's just so northern. Oh, with the window open as well. Gorgeous. Right, we're going to go like the clappers now. Seven miles, just less than. Up to Preston. We've got ten minutes to do it. I reckon we can do this. Easy peasy. Wow, look at that, bouncing around all over the place. I'm about to get thrown off my computer chair. Goodness me. Right up to 75, look at that. It's amazing more drivers didn't so suffer from uh, motion sickness, isn't it? Wow, 47 going the other way with the Rick and Mark 1s. Is it Mark 2As? I couldn't quite tell. Salwick here. I mean, this must be a right pokey little station if, uh, if Class 142 Pacers aren't stopping. Look at that, express right through. Having said that, back in the day, I have been sat as a passenger on, uh, on a... Uh, on a Transpennine 185 at Ravensthorpe and the Transpennine 185 stopped at Ravensthorpe because uh, Transpennine obviously operate the uh, the Huddersfield to Leeds stoppers and a double class 142 has gone sailing through on the next platform so you think oh, well if a, if a, a class 185 stopped there and the 142 is going hurtling through then you know Righty-o, Preston three and a half miles. I think as well this route's really nice because it's not, there's not too much to do is there, you know, it's the quite like Preston to Blackpool half an hour, Blackpool North, Blackpool South about half an hour, Ormskirk about half an hour, so you could, if you wanted to drive it, you could just start at Preston and take over in Ormskirk, do half an hour to Ormskirk, half an hour back and that's just enough, you don't have to do the Ormskirk all the way through as a run do you, you know, which is quite nice. There's a lot of little half hour shunt, half an hour shunts, they're not shunts are they, but little half an hour journeys you can do. But at the same time you can do a longer journey if you wish. That's the beauty of this DLC. As well, the local hall, the little multiple units, it, it really does have it all. that power off a little bit. What's going on here? Bit of roadworks on the left hand side. Heck, it's cobbled roads. Or is it just because... Uh, I like the period vehicles as well. Someone did also point out in the comments that there's different vehicles really specific to this era. That the, the attention to detail... Maybe this road's just been built. 
See, I don't really know much about the local area, so I don't know if, like, maybe there was a new road at this point. Oh, hang on. Right, let's have a bit of step two, because I'm too busy looking at this nice little road next to us and not not looking at the, uh, the speed limit changes in front. I have noticed this time that we've driven it, though, there's been a lot more lag than, uh, than the time before, I'm sure of it. See, this bridge again suggests that at one point there was more tracks across it. A little bit fast. Oh, never mind. Provincial 142 going the other way there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Is that the first AWS uh, doodah we've had while we've been here? I don't think I heard any on the semaphores. Obviously uh, joining the other wires now. See, obviously it's something that may be added in the future, but it's like now when you're crawling around in your little, little tiny pace of train that I would love to see a class 86 or a class 87 with a rake of Mark 3s and a DT on the end, just sort of powering past in the intercity livery. Absolutely beautiful. It'd be so good if they did that. So we're obviously... Uh, oh, we're going into platform two. Right, there we go. Got a red signal at the end by the look of things. Let's just have a little bit of power. See, I think the problem they've got is that those tail lights look like they're on at the front there, don't they? And obviously, from what you can see here, they're not, because otherwise it would be like that. But the, the headlight and tail lights don't really... They don't sort of look any different, do they? Whereas at the back there, you can clearly see the headlights aren't on. Maybe it's just me. Right, well, there we go. That is where we're going to finish for today. I really do hope you have enjoyed today's video. I've certainly enjoyed it. I absolutely love this. As I say, link in the description if you want to go check it out. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do let me know what you think in the comments section. And, of course, do click the like button. Always appreciated. And uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'm, I realise my breaking is atrocious there, absolutely atrocious. Do consider subscribing so that you never miss out on any future Trains in World episodes. As I say, we do still have the Ormskirk branch to explore. Uh, please do uh, do stay tuned because we will, of course, be doing that in the future. That does also remind me, I did say that this entire route could be found on Trainsim Classic. Uh, and if you had the choice of Trainsim World or Trainsim Classic, I would go for Trainsim Classic. I do still stand by that, uh, but someone did point out the Trainsim Classic version of the route only has Blackpool North and South. It doesn't have the Ormskirk branch. You are absolutely right in what you're saying there. So, yeah, if the Ormskirk branch isn't too important to you, go for the free version on Trainsim Classic. But, uh, yeah, I still don't think this is a bad route. It's not a bad route at all. It's absolutely stunning. And as I say, this has taken my uh, my top spot for favourite routes uh, on Trains and Worlds. So, you know, that's high praise indeed, isn't it, really? Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.